So we're going to walk through and look at um, aspects of the AIT uh, measuring, fabric measuring and inspection machine. Um, this particular model is a custom model where slitting has been added to it. So one, one key difference here uh, between this system that you're looking at and our standard fabric measuring and inspection machine is that um, this one has a standalone rewind and a catwalk in front. So under normal circumstances, or at least with the standard machine, uh, this rewind system that you see here, a surface rewind that you'll see closer, would be directly in front of uh, the uh, backlit uh, viewing panel. And um, so again, this one is separate uh, with a catwalk that the fabric goes under. And then on the way to the rewind, there is a slitting system. So here we've got three score cutters, crush cutters, how whatever terminology you want to use. <clears throat> that slits the fabric in the linear uh, direction and this customer just has three but there can be multiple here um, and then we come to uh, the surface rewind system where the finished roll is accumulated and this entire uh, system at least uh, the rewind system is on an edge guide um, platform. So here we're using a servo motor and the combination of an edge sensing uh, to monitor the edge of the fabric, move the carriage back and forth, and to deliver a straight edge roll of fabric on the front. Uh, this machine with the standalone rewind and the distance, uh, we've mounted our touchscreen controller on a flexible arm that can come out front, swing around to the back, any a number of different uh, positions. So here on the control panel, you have all your abilities to not only monitor the, the uh, linear meters or yards uh, on the roll, but then also you have your controls for lights here. So we just have the backlight system on, and uh, there's two settings for this, so you can have a brighter version of the backlit. And then there's a, an additional setting or not setting but you can activate the top lights so it can be lit from top top only back and the backlight has two versions a standard and a bright so I'll turn those back off. The touchscreen is intuitive and and uh, it is nice from the standpoint of these illuminate when you're using them or when you've got them turned on. Um, here is our online measuring. Uh, you can set in a roll length so you can put in here 100 yards or meters and then the machine will stop when it reaches that. And then in another video I'm going to take you through the reporting system of the flaws that you detect as you're measuring the fabric. But otherwise you have a stop and a start and you can manually rewind here uh, as well as some other controls. Um, so, yep, here's the rewind section. The operator will be here on the catwalk most of the time. There is uh, a measuring wheel that is uh, on the fabric at all times so that we have a real-time measurement of length and then here on this machine uh, in the back is the unwind cradle this is another standard feature so this unwind cradle uh, utilizes two driven rolls here that are uh, uh, that are tied to 
the rewind and the front, uh, they're tied to they're tied together electronically. They're not manually chained together per se. But that's a standard feature that enables you to overspeed the front rewind or underspeed back here, whatever is required. This is the unwind cradle. And then um, we go up in the rear with the fabric. Just showing up behind this, you can see a sensor. There's a sensor that is um, watching to see that we have fabric in the event uh, this is in operation and the fabric runs out, the sensor will detect that and stop the machine. So here we're gonna go up and over a driven roll in this case before the fabric comes back down the backlit screen and to the catwalk.